Dr. Travelers, he referred to us, and uh, keratoconus, he's had uh, surgery, um, epion in both eyes, uh, intacts in both eyes. He's tried just about every refractive um, thing possible as far as glasses don't work, contact lenses, soft lenses, RGPs, hybrids. Uh, he came in wearing hybrids, he's about 20, 30 minus uh, with the hybrid lenses. And uh, he's unhappy with pretty much every lens. Uh, they just get uncomfortable and dry up on him. You can see his uh, prescription is, um, in his glasses is not so good. It's about eight and a half to half hours of astigmatism in the left eye. So what can we do next? I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with miracle. At least my patients say it rhymes with miracle. Sclerals. Scleral rhymes with miracle. So. <laughs> and uh, we're back to the question, does uh, size matter? Sometimes it does. Uh, we have uh, mini scleral and scleral lenses. With, uh, with scleral lenses, they, def they never touch the cornea. Is there a laser pointer here? Yeah. No. Right on the photo. Right on the photo. Yeah. Okay, so we Wow, this thing is like a light table. <laughs> <laughs> so we have here, we have here the, the uh, bulb, the cornea is there. The cornea, the, the scleral lens never touches the cornea. And um, we sometimes, do, we like to use mini sclerals a lot because uh, it's easier for the patient to handle it, so it, t it lands on the sclera here, where with the full-size sclerals, it's a little bit larger diameter, uh, but it gives you a little bit wider uh, landing zone. On to the next slide. I think it makes it a little easier, too, because somebody who's never had contacts in their eyes before, anything like that, to put, especially a smaller diameter lens at first, which is similar in size to a soft lens, it's not as scary than throwing on a 16.5 or a 17 size, so that definitely helps, too. True. So, the way we see patients that travel sometimes a couple hours to see us, so to speed up the process is we, we have them put the lenses in that we think is best. And um, the lenses actually, this is, these arrows for some reason aren't lined up properly. The red arrow is actually, that red arrow is a tear lake. Uh, the scleral lens is over here. And we actually have a measurement there, it's about 200 microns, and then that's the cornea. Uh, this guy has intacts and a little bit of a apical scarring. Uh, what we do is, can anybody tell me what you think that um, blue arrow is or where I'm putting the pointer? Because we have the patient go home, or, or not go home, but go out for a few hours, and we put a lens on top of the sparrow lens in order to speed up the process. Uh, because with our stock lenses, a lot of times we put a lens on, and then we do an over-refraction, we get like a minus nine over-refraction, and we're not sure what you know the final power is gonna be, so instead we'll put a soft contact lens on top let them go for a few hours and then have them come back. We check to see how much it's uh, settled. You know, usually it settles between 50 and 100 microns. And then, um, you know, it saves the patient a step from, uh, with the fitting process. 